Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is update number seven for my nail polish project pan in 2020. Just gonna set expectations early. This is gonna be the worst update ever. <laughs> um, but I did do my nails today for this video, which I always say, oh, after the video, I'm gonna do my nails. Cause it's true, after the video, I usually do my nails. This time I did it before, but why this is the worst update is basically at this point, I feel like in this project, I've run out of a little bit of steam. I just have not been doing my nails and I was gonna talk about a couple excuses or reasons why, but I know you guys really don't care of the reasons why. I'm just putting it out there though that I really have not been doing my nails as much as I have throughout the year and that's just impacted this project. So let's just quickly go over the nail polishes that I'm using. I did say in my last update that I may switch some of these out and bring some other things in. I'm just gonna stick with these. Again, I might do what I did, um, I'll talk about it, in a little bit, but bring one or two in. But I'm just gonna stick with what I have and continue using these. I'll start off with the polish that I'm actually trying to pan, and it's the only one that I've actually made visible progress on. And this is the Julep Nail Polish in the shade Elena. And I have drawn one more new line on this. So hopefully you can see that there. There's one more new line. It's, it's a little bit further down than it was last time, but not a whole lot. I've worn it maybe I want to say about three times since I last filmed this, or four times. This particular polish I have had to put thinner in at this point because it was starting to get a little goopy, so that affects how much is actually being used. But can I finish this by the end of the year? I think I can. Like I said, I've been kind of meh on nail polish, but I think I can actually still finish this. What I'm wearing on my nails right now is this. This is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Flirt, I believe is the shade, 210 Flirt. I did put a line on it. So hopefully you can see there, just above the label there, I did put a little line. That's where it was sitting. It's still about there. Again, I've used that, this one maybe twice <laughs> since my last update. And that's what I have on my, my nails right now. Um, yes. They look a little bit rough. I don't know, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to doing my nails. I, I will paint them, but I rarely ever bother cleaning it up. I just wait until like I wash my hands a few times and that seems to get rid of like the excess around my fingernails. I'm lazy like that. I used this nail polish once. This is another julep polish in the same, in the shade Claudette. And I did post this one on my Facebook. I did draw a line on it. It's maybe slightly below that line but not enough to actually draw a new line. It is a really, really pretty color and I used a matte top coat on it, which was actually really quite nice. I liked it. The next shade I wanna talk about is this one in uh, the shade Kendra. It's a julep polish again. Again, <laughs> the line is pretty close to the top. Um, unfortunately, I did not take a picture of this, so I can't post a picture of what it looks like. Again, I'll try and use this at least one more time before the end of the year so I can actually take a picture of it. It's a really nice color. It's like a very deep olive army green, so it's a, it's a nice fall color. Another polish that <laughs> I couldn't actually draw a line on this one at the beginning because it was so close to the top and it's so dark that it was hard to see. This is in the shade Isla, and uh, I try not to tip it here so you, hopefully you can see. Yeah, I think you can see right at the very top there. <laughs> again, I used this once. Um, again, I do not have a picture because I used this on my toes. I did use the, what I'm calling like the lip gloss. I don't know where it is. I did use this in combination with that and I really, really liked the way it looked. This is the Sally Hansen Salon Complete Salon Manicure in Gleam Supreme. So I'll probably do that combination on my fingernails so I can actually take a picture of it so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I did like that really really nice color on my toes. The other shade that I used just once, again, I put a line on it and hopefully you can see. It's again, like just ever so slightly below that line. Maybe it's still kind of right on, but I've only used it once. This is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Bear It All. I love the shade in terms of like, it is so my nude. It's like my perfect, skin tone nude. Um, I painted my toenails with this. I'm not really sure why because it's not really a color I normally use on my toenails and every time I looked at my toes it was like oh it's like I have no nails but I have nails like it was just bizarre. <laughs> I normally put like bright colors like I said the dark blue like I normally do like the more intense type colors on my toes so it was just kind of odd to put this on my toes. I probably won't ever do that again <laughs> but it was interesting. 
And the only shade I think I didn't use, at least I can't remember using this, this is the shade Tough Taupe. It's a Sally Hansen Just Hard As Nails. I think this is like the ones that you can kind of get in the dollar store. Again, you can see it's pretty close to the top. Um, so unfortunately I don't have a picture to show of this on my nails because I didn't use this one. Just want to go over like the top coat base coats that I've been using. This is my Such Feet uh, top coat. This is like the quick dry. It's almost done. I'm not even sure if I've used this since my last update. Maybe once. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you can see the brush tip is like just touching it. It is so thick. Like if I turn it sideways here, like it is so thick. <laughs> it is not very viable anymore. So again, I might be able to get one more use out of this. I'm gonna try, uh, but this will be considered done. Even though the, there'll still be product left in the bottle, it's gonna be considered done by the end of the year. This is the top coat that I've been using. This is the Essence, uh, the gel nail polish top coat. I, it's quite a nice top coat. It dries fairly quickly um, and it does look pretty shiny and it was super cheap. So I would consider purchasing this again for sure. I actually like this one better than, I have an Essie top coat and I, I like this one better. I mean, the Essie top coat I have is just like the generic Essie top coat. Like I don't think it's anything special. Like I think they have gel finish type nail polishes. So I'm assuming they have like a gel finish top coat. I'm pretty sure the one I have is just like the generic one and I like this one better. And I just wanted to talk about these two at the same time. So this is the Witchcraft Be Strong um, Protein Hardener and I was trying to use this as a base coat. Two things. Does not work very well as a base coat? Well, it kind of does if you want a peely base coat where your nails will peel off sometimes within an hour. <laughs> of putting the nail polish on. Um, not very fun. I mean, it's good in a sense of if I did want to take nail polish off after a couple of days, it was easy to take it off with this because like I said, it was like a peely base coat. It was super easy to take nail polish off. But in some cases when I did my nails, it came off like literally an hour later. I was like, well, I'm just gonna peel it right off. The other thing, so it's like, okay, don't use it as a base coat. It's just not working. The other thing is like, okay, let me try and use this on its own and even on its own, this is, this is weird. I found it would like disintegrate on my nails, like not like chip or peel, but like melt. <laughs> it, it became this like weird gummy texture and I don't know what I interacted with that, um, but it did it twice. So I was like, oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna try and keep using it maybe again more on its own than as a base coat or I might try it on my toes as a base coat just to kind of use it up because maybe it'll stay better on my toenails. I don't know. But yeah, I won't ever buy this again. Ugh, it's just weird. So what I did buy to replace that is the Sally Hansen Ultimate Shield Base and Top Coat. And I haven't used this as a top coat but I've been using it as a base coat and it's a really nice base coat. It's a nice generic dries fairly quickly, doesn't seem to interact in a weird way with any nail polishes, and yeah, so it's been a nice little base coat to try. I should try it as a top coat. I haven't actually put a top coat yet on my nails, um, but maybe I'll try it as a top coat this time around and see how it works. So yeah, that's my update, <laughs> or none update. Probably the worst update for my nail polish project in the past two years. I just really have not been doing my nails, and. I'm not making any promises for my final update. I, like I said, I'm gonna try and finish that one polish. There's a couple here that I will definitely try and use to take a picture of. <laughs> that might be it. That might be the extent of it. I just, yeah, I'm kind of running out of steam. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do next year. I, I kind of had an idea, but now I'm not so sure. So sure. We'll see. I may even take a break from doing a nail polish project for next year. I am going to put this out there though, that I will be in the market for buying some more nail polishes. I've been holding off buying on some polishes because of my budget this year, uh, but I definitely want to make a purchase for at least a couple of nail things next year. Uh, definitely from Hollow Taco. And then there's a couple of other colors that I feel like I'm missing from my collection that I really wanted this year. And yeah, so again, I'm, gonna, I'm still trying to keep my collection fairly small and thoughtful. Uh, small, depends on what you think. Um, and yeah, so that might affect if and how I do a project pan for my nail polish next year. Does that make sense? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel in Toronto, Canada. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I'd love to try and hit that goal before the end of 2020 because 2020 sucks and maybe there'll be something good that can come from it. At least for me and maybe for you if you like my videos. Anyway, I hope you're doing well and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.